I'm delighted now to be joined by prolific political com columnist Patrick O'Flynn. Patrick, it feels like it was just yesterday. We went through all of this, the, the 1922 committee, Theresa May, mm. Boris Johnson saying, dude, I'm the man to run the country. And well, it's, it's almost like whoop, fast forward and here we are again. Yes, it hasn't taken long, has it? Um, I think you can say things are very volatile, uh, but I was interested you mentioned a north-south divide. Um, I personally think is the Prime Minister himself has fallen victim to that. He was really put in office with that big majority uh, by the Red Wall with an agenda and uh, taking control of our borders was key to that. Uh, and he's dropped that, hasn't he? In the last year or so, he's prioritised the messaging on net zero. He's done absolutely nothing about the channel migrant shambles, which GB News has covered far more extensively than anyone else, and that polling shows is absolutely crucial to those Red Wall voters. He hasn't tried. He hasn't delivered for them. And I think now he's in trouble on his personal rackety stuff. Uh, they're not with him anymore. When it was uh, last spring and it was all about curtains and wallpaper in Downing Street, uh, he was still seen as the person delivering Brexit. Uh, the people who were after him were seen as Remainers and the Red Wallers stood by him. But I think he, he personally has dropped the ball. He, he's prioritised the sort of uh, traditional, slightly posher home counties, Tory uh, viewpoints, uh, and that is is the root of this north-south divide um, uh, where he's lost ground in the Red Wall. I don't think personally it's irreparable.